Every trader out there takes losses. This is a 100% fact. But how we come back from those losses, both with our trading strategy as well with our psychology, will mean a lot in our long-term success as a trader. On Friday of last week, I took a very uncharacteristic loss. Didn't take profits, held a position too long, something that I don't typically do. A lapse in judgment and something I am not very happy with my performance. Now, what I am happy with is how I came back from that loss. Learning from the loss, journaling the loss, understanding what I did wrong, coming into the new week with a fresh mentality, sticking to my trading strategy, making sure that I do not do the same mistakes from Friday into the new week. If you guys know the definition of insanity, that is doing the same things over and over again and expecting different results. This is the power of journaling, understanding what you do wrong, and taking a conscious effort to change it. In today's video, I want to share the loss from Friday. I want to talk about what I did both Monday and Tuesday of this week, share with you a live trade from today, and overall talk about the mindset, the strategy, and the psychology behind coming back from a trading loss. If you guys enjoyed today's video after watching it, press that like button, subscribe to the channel. Let's go ahead and jump into it. So guys, here is my performance so far trading this month of January, about $1,300. An honest month so far, could have been better, made some mistakes, and the biggest mistakes I made were on Friday of last week. So I want to click into this Friday day, and I want to share with you the trade that I took on Tesla, which is quite upsetting. I had a lot of profit in the trade, got greedy, didn't take profits. Everything that I talk about not to do, I did wrong. And this is something that's going to happen. You're going to slip up sometimes in trading. How you come back from it, I think, is the most important. And I'm very happy with how I came back to it, back to my strategy, back to taking profits, back to doing what I know is right. But sometimes it just happens, right? You get a little bit greedy on a Friday zero DTE, something that I'm not too good at in the first place, got a little messed up. And I want to share with you the trade that I took a loss on. So you can see had a very nice start, about a thousand dollar start, both Wednesday, Thursday, took about a $700 loss on Friday and came back from that loss on Friday with a $400 winner on Monday and a nice $500 winner today. A very nice comeback, wiping away those losses. And this was due to me coming back to the strategy, doing what I know is right, taking profits, taking half off, letting runners go, but not holding the entire position, taking those quick profits when you get the move, something I talk about so much. And just doing that has caused me to be very nicely green here in the beginning of this week. So if I go into those trades on Friday, we're going to go specifically into this Tesla trade. So jumping into this Tesla trade, you're going to see it lost about $475, about 10% of the position. And you're going to look there on the chart. I took an absolutely fantastic entry. I took an awesome 105 rejection. I saw a lot of people trade this play and I caught it beautifully. I got in at a great time and I just failed to execute. So I got a very nice entry here right around this 104. 50, 105 rejection. I got a fantastic move to the downside and I got greedy. I did not take advantage of the moves that I got. I did not take profits off. And you can see, even though I sold just about where I entered the position, with it being Friday, with it being zero DTE, with the volatility in the option contracts, I took a loss in this position, even though I sold it just about at the same point that I got in. So if I go down to this running PL, you guys can see I was up 14, about $1,700 at one point and did not take a single profit off. This is a problem. This is something that I wanted to share today. I myself am very upset about the trade. I have thought about it for a few times over the weekend. I've thought about it for a few days. I'm not going to lie. I definitely slipped up here and I had a fantastic trade entry. Strategy was great. Why I got in was great. I'm very happy with that part of the trade. The second part of the trade, which is very important, the management of the trade is where I failed. So I didn't take any profits. You can see my last exit was around 941, 942. And simply, that's really all that I take away from this trade. I didn't take profits. I didn't take half off. When I got that quick move in my favor, I did not start to scale out. And this is something I talk about quite a bit. And this is something I failed to do on Friday. But the point of this video today is how you come back from that loss and what you do and how you learn from that loss. And that is exactly what I want to point out today. So coming back from that loss on Friday, both Monday and Tuesday, I was taking profits very quickly. As soon as I got a move in my favor, as soon as I got that original push that I'm looking for, I'm taking half off, I'm scaling out of the position. The strategy remains the same. And that is one of the most important things. The strategy has to remain the same. Just because you take that loss does not mean we're going to switch up strategies here. Just because you take that loss doesn't mean you don't know what you're doing. You have to know what you did wrong in the strategy. Was the strategy right? If yes, then how did the trade go wrong? In my situation, the strategy was 100% correct. The entry was fantastic. 
The execution part was the problem. And I need to make sure I know the difference. So if I stick with the strategy, which I know works, which I know I've been doing for four years now and being profitable using it, then that second part, that execution, that taking profits, not being greedy is what went wrong. And that means I have that part to work on, not the strategy part. So coming into Monday and Tuesday of this week, I knew strategy solid, look for the same things, but make sure you are taking profits off as soon as you get the move in your favor. And I think this is something very important to share. And this is why I wanted to make today's video. What are you doing wrong in your trading? Is it the strategy? Is it the execution? Learning from that mistake and learning how to fix it. Now, before we get into the winning trades and talk through what I did differently on those days, I want to talk about what I believe the biggest problem is for traders coming back from a loser like I took on Friday. Having that mindset that you have to scale up, having that mindset that you have to make that money back right away, I think this is a deadly mindset and something that will likely cause the more losses, likely cause you to go down a rabbit hole and likely start to snowball your account to the downside. Taking that $700 loss on my account is not something that I can't come back from. And I have to understand that it's going to take a few days. Coming back from a loss, getting heavy, scaling up, sizing up, getting emotional is probably one of the worst things you can do. And I think that's something that I want to point out in today's video after taking that Friday loss I made sure in every bone in my body that I had no emotion to try to scale up try to make it back in one day I know that a few 300 400 dollar green days can make back that loss and I'm going to totally forget about what even happened on Friday after I get some green days under my belt and that is exactly what we did here so if we jump into Monday this is the first day back after that loss on Friday you guys are going to see I took a bunch of scalps I took three scalps about three four five percent winners the best trade of the day likely being my smallest trade but the trade I want to point out here is the Amazon put and the Apple put these trades showcase me taking those profits a very big difference from what I did on Friday so if we jump into Apple from Monday of this week you are going to see that I went short here on Apple early morning off this 131.50 rejection and as soon as I got a nice move in my favor I was scaling out of that play of course there was more money to be made but I like to take those profits this is very characteristic of my trading this is something that keeps me consistent and taking those profits is something that I need to stick with did that on Apple came out on top very nice trade right a very drastic difference than what I did on Tesla this chart looks very similar to Tesla's chart but what you saw in that Tesla chart is that after the drop happened, I did not take profits and we moved back to the upside and I took my loss. In this situation, we moved down, I took my profits and I walked away from the trade. Something that was very important for me to recognize, something that journaling helped me recognize and something that I needed to fix knowing from my Friday loss. Same thing here on Amazon, $261 win, about 4%. Got in some puts here at this rejection point, started scaling out as I got the move in my favor, scaling out of the position taking half off leaving some runners if the trade continues to work for me but taking that win taking that 260 dollars compounding those wins on that monday walking away on the day up almost 500 dollars already working my way back from that friday loss now this is my trade from today this is a tesla trade and i'm going to share this trade live with you guys at the end of this video i have the live recording that i want to share you can see that i got some puts here looking for that downside i played a rejection of 119.50 i'll go into the chart and share why I took this entry, but you'll see I got that quick move. I took those profits, not getting too in-depth with the trades, but overall the characteristics of the trade, what I did differently from that Friday trade, taking contracts off, taking the profits. Once again, I know I sound repetitive, but sharing with you guys the differences, how drastic the difference is from those three trades I just shared with you that were winners from the one trade that was a big loser. It's a learning lesson. We move forward and that is what trading is all about. So I quickly want to share why I took that Tesla trade here on the TOS charts and then we will get into the live recording and wrap up this video. Yesterday, Tesla had a closing price of around 119.50. Intraday today, if we zoom into this chart, you will see that Tesla failed a move intraday, moved under that 119.50, started to put some very nice wicks right at this 119.50 rejection level and when I started to see those wicks I went ahead and got into some puts and I got a very quick move in my favor taking the profits off here right 
taking those profits when I got that push to the downside, saving myself from any type of push to the upside, which did happen against me, but the fact that I scaled out protected me from any upside, and this was a very nice move in my favor. Rejection of the previous lows, 119.50, took profits into that move, a very nice trade. So now I wanna go ahead and run that live recording. I'll share with you guys exactly how I took this trade. You'll hear the voice commentary from the Discord where I trade live every day, so I hope you guys do enjoy that. Tesla turning the 119.50 into a rejection, actually. Okay, hold on. I might be interested in this. If I can get that 39.20 to give up, I'll look for Tesla. Yeah, I'm going to take Tesla right there. Stop over 119.50. Tesla puts. 119 puts. Stop over 119.50. Uh, ES just flipped on me there. Shit. Might have to get out of that. Yeah, ES just flipped on me. It looked like it was gonna give that up. Watching 119.50. Okay, I like that rejection still, but I don't like what the ES just did. Still in Tesla, 119.50 rejection. Need that ES to give up here at that 39.20 though. Good. That's better on ES. There we go. Boom, baby. Good. All right, I'm not gonna let Tesla steal my money this time. Taking some off on Tesla there. A little bit off. Not letting Tesla do what it did to me last time. Half off on Tesla there. There we go. There's the rejection I was looking for. Support on Tesla may come in around 117, so be careful on that. I'm gonna take another one off Tesla here. I don't like that. Yeah, I don't like this. I'm out. I'm out. I don't like that it just got bought up there. So guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope you learned something from it about taking losses, how to come back from them, strategy, psychology, knowing what you did wrong, knowing what you need to fix, journaling your trades, and coming back the next week, the next day, fixing the problems that you did. Identifying the problems in your trading is such a key thing, and identifying what I did wrong on Friday, not taking those profits, not scaling out of the position, helped me come back from that loss and helped me fix what needed to be fixed. And that is why I can happily say I've come back from that loss over the last two days and now looking forward to new opportunities. So if you enjoyed today's video, if you learned from it, make sure to press the like button before you head out, press that subscribe button, and make sure to come to the pre-market live streams every single morning starting at 8 a.m. Thank you again for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Peace.